In February, the Sevil Mesh construction site was busy creating workspaces, installing engineering utilities, and performing other tasks. The building inside was noticeably fitted out with equipment which had already been put in place. The lazy equipment was moved from the leased premises and its installation began on the D&E territory. The motor assembly area was formed. The next stage is commissioning, wiring, strapping and other tasks. The specialists continued their work on setting up the laboratory, which will be the first to be launched. In the production area of the building, installation of fire-resistant windows began in February. Installation of interior partitions was completed. In the warehouse, racks were assembled for products to be manufactured by the Savalmash DNTE. In the office and amenity building, the construction workers were installing the storm drainage system and began assembling interior partitions made of plasterboard. The formation of staircases continued, and the production of elevators was launched. The transformers were installed, a special room was made for them, and electric switchboards were mounted. The building is being equipped with power distribution networks, and the equipment is being connected to them. Work on the exterior engineering utilities was in progress outside the building. Besides, the construction site has begun to be cleared of unnecessary materials, namely the temporary road slabs, which will be sent for sale. In February, Solo Group opened its national representative offices in three countries at once – Austria, Switzerland and Liechtenstein. The company and the project are represented there by Marco Hubert Scheidbach. He is responsible for promoting the project in the region, organizing offline and online events, interacting with investors and partners in his country, as well as performing other tasks. Opening national representative offices gives impetus to more intensive development of the project in these countries. In total, Solar Group's offices now operate in 27 countries. On February 23rd, Finversha, a popular financial YouTube channel, hosted a conversation about the project and Solmash. The live broadcast, hosted by editor-in-chief Chen Art, was joined by Alexander Sudarev, Deputy General Director for Public Relations at Solmash. The broadcast covered the essence of the project and answered the most pressing questions about it. The broadcast recording is available on Finversha's YouTube channel. On February 1st, we relaunched the Gift to a Friend option. It allows you to invite new participants to the project and get up to $125 per month for it. You will get $5 for each participant invited to the project. Your friend will be given $20 that can be used to buy investment shares. The terms of the option are available in the back office, the Promo Offers section, for investors. Use it to attract new investors to the project and support the Savalmash D&E construction.